Listen to Jesus. Whoever has ears to hear, let them hear. We learn a lot from the parables of Jesus. Now, the parable of the sower. It teaches us how to learn from ordinary experiences that matter. Real stories. Concrete lessons. The parable practically shows us how to be prudent and conscious and how to properly sow and eventually successfully harvest. Our ancestors and indigenous peoples knew how to do things right in accordance with the rhythm and harmony of nature. The wisdom which does not negate our coexistence with nature. In the book of Genesis, it is the Hebrew word shamar, which is ultimately careful keeping that watches over with careful observation and attention. And that in everything we do, we learn from the lessons of the past to prudently address the needs of the present and face the future with hope and confidence without putting at risk the capacity of the next generations to survive. We are part of the still unfolding and continuous history of creation, as we are part of the whole of creation made out of it in the image and likeness of God. Our undeniable relationship with creation reflects the greatness of our Creator. We do not own the land where we sow the seeds. We do not own the land we till. We are stewards with responsibility to sustain the rhythm and harmony of life. And yes, we need to act on what we have heard, the cry of the earth and the cry of the poor.